Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways, take up your cross and follow me. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and everyone who humbles himself will be exalted. And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews, but now my kingdom is from another place. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the 